Hey there, welcome back. Another tip from Barbados. That was a little windy here, but hey, the one thing I want to talk about is it's that time of year to start doing a forecast. Um, that's what I've really done here the last couple of days is actually putting our forecast together for 2020. And you know, we all know how to do a forecast, right? But here's what I want you to think about. It's really reflect, reflect on last year, what you grew, what went right, what went wrong, uh, what could have gone better. And then plan out next year, what numbers can you hit? And think of the obstacles. You know, so many people plan for the uphill climb, and no one plan, uh, plans for the downhill. Um, so what happens when you lose your biggest customer next year? What happens when maybe we get in a recession next year? Plan for that and use that to forecast. Also, forecast not just dollars and how many sales, but forecast your own personal growth. If you're an owner of a company, Forecast how you're going to grow the people, um, not just the dollars at the end. If you're a sales manager, forecast what you're going to do to grow your people. So when you really do a forecast for next year, do it well-rounded, not just on dollars and numbers, but on your people, because your people are 10 times more valuable than the numbers. But we've never seen that more true than now in a job market, where the only people that aren't working are the people that don't want to work. I didn't see you have a great culture.